The user of this laptop forgot their password. I'm going to show you what we can do to recover the account without reinstalling Windows. So the first thing we need to do is download Hiren's Boot CD. So you can go to hirensbootcd.org, click on download, and then scroll to the bottom and click right here. Once the file's downloaded, you're going to go to the USB booting tab here, and this is going to give you instructions for how to write that ISO file onto a USB flash drive. It's pretty simple. You're going to download Rufus. I've already done that, so I'm going to skip it, but you'd want to go ahead and download Rufus. And then once we've got Rufus open here, it tells you to press Alt-E. So we're going to press Alt-E, and you'll see down at the bottom, dual UFI BIOS mode enabled. That's what we want. We want to select the ISO file. So we're going to click on Select and select that ISO file that we just downloaded. And it tells us down here that we want the partition scheme to be MBR, file system to be FAT32, which is right here. File system is FAT32. <clears throat> and we can compare what we've got to the screenshot here. We got MBR, we got FAT32. Everything here is matching what they have except for cluster size, which we can change. It's not going to matter in this case, but we'll, we'll put it to the same one as them. And we'll click on Start. And we'll say OK. And now it is writing Hiren's boot CD onto my USB flash drive. So the next thing is to boot from the USB flash drive that we just created. How to do that depends on your computer. You may just need to Google your model number and how to get into the boot menu. It's usually a matter of pressing one of the function keys while the device is, is booting. So here I am going to boot onto that USB flash drive. So once we're booted into Hiren's boot CD, we want to click on the start menu. We want to go into all programs, uh, security, passwords, NT password edit. We click on open. Sorry if that's not focusing very well for you there. Click on open. That's gonna list all of the accounts. And the one in this case that we want to unlock is the secretary account. So I'm gonna click on that one there. I'm gonna say change password. And I'm just gonna type in a password. And I will say OK. And I'll say save changes. And exit. And now I'm just going to reboot the computer to get out of Hiren's boot CD. And that's it. I can just log into the computer with the new password I created, and I'm good to go.